Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Heather. In front of you, you have our ingredients for our meal today. We're going to be making leek and salmon comfort chowder. This is from Keto Lunches by Stephanie Pedersen. And it is gluten-free and dairy-free. So, if you like cooking shows, or fashion or books, please subscribe to my channel and look forward to more videos. Also, hit that like button so we can have the thumbs up. So, on to the recipe. So, in front of you we have today the ingredients, which we are going to need two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We are going to need four leeks washed trimmed and sliced into crescents. We have our leeks right there. We will need three cloves of garlic minced. Instead of cutting it up myself, I actually just have the crushed garlic. It comes like this. Each little square is a clove of garlic, which is amazing and super, super efficient. Then we need six cups of chicken bone broth. Ta -da, bone broth. One and a half teaspoons of dried thyme leaves. I actually just have some ground thyme here. Then we need one teaspoon of fresh chopped dill or a half a teaspoon dried. So I have our dried right here. Then we need salt and pepper to taste. I have our pepper and our salt. We need one, one pound of salmon fillets or pieces cut into bite-sized pieces, and you can use fresh or frozen. I use fresh. Mmm, salmon's good. And then we need about one and three-fourths cups of coconut milk. And of course you want it unsweetened. I got organic because that was the cheapest one, surprisingly. Now, um, since I already cut these leeks, leeks are very interesting. This is what the leek looks like. I did not cut the fourth one, so I'm going to do that for you because you actually have to take off the big green part here, and then you have to slice it. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Alright, so we want to cut off the top part here. And I also took off the first layer of the leek, kind of like an onion. Because I think leeks are like onion, they at least smell like them. And then you just dice it up. and trimmed and sliced, and then our garlic. Here are all of our leeks, yummy, yummy. And then our three cloves of garlic. Good to go. 
we cook until slightly softened. I say it's slightly softened because it's starting to be like really, really soft and kind of almost like cabbage. So we're going to say that's done for that. So then we want to add our six cups of chicken bone broth. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Two and a half teaspoons of dried thyme leaves. Since it's actually ground thyme, I'm just going to do one teaspoon. Because ground thyme, you're going to get more of that than just dried. Oh wow, I haven't even ever opened this. So yes, one teaspoon of ground thyme. Half a teaspoon of dried dill. Alright, we gotta let that simmer for about 15 minutes and then season to taste with salt and pepper. Alrighty, our food has now been simmering for 15 minutes. It's smelling really good right now. Now I need to add salt and pepper to taste. Gonna add the pepper. Not really sure how much I need. I'll probably need more pepper than salt since the bone broth already has salt in it. and then I'm going to give it a taste because you always want to taste your food. It's very important. Mmm, that's pretty good. Mmm, I think it does need more salt and pepper though. Which 
good. It's got a good flavor to it. The yeah. dill really comes through. Yes, and I love dill. Which is great. So yeah, mm. there you have it, people. Salmon's good. The salmon's good? Yeah. Earth and tender? Yeah. yeah. Well done. Yay! Thank good you. Job. Whoa! Well, everyone, until next time, have a go at making this, and have a great day!